The ClickBank Gold Miner runs on Adobe Air, which uh, the, the advantage is that it makes it cross-platform. The software will work on Macs just as well as it works on Windows machines. I use it on a Mac myself. It works great. But you do have to install Adobe Air first. Most inter internet marketers have it installed. They have other programs. But if you don't, there is a link to download it in the members area. You click on the link. It will take you to Adobe, and it will have instructions on downloading and installing Adobe Air. Once that's installed, you can install ClickBank Goldminer. The first time you open it, you will be encountered by uh, a window where it asks you to opt in for updates. I encourage you to do that. Put in your best address, either here or the members area. It's the same place. If you uh, close the window, it does reappear a few times. I think it's set like every other time you open it for a handful of times. Eventually, it goes away altogether if you don't opt in. Um, then you'll be presented, every time you open ClickBank Goldminer, you'll be given a chance to download the ClickBank Marketplace. The way the Goldminer works is, rather than having to be online, it downloads the entire massive ClickBank Marketplace so it can do all its work uh, quickly right there on your desktop. You don't have to download this every time. It does take about a minute, typically, depending on, depending on your internet connection. You don't have to do it every time, but you will want to, will want to do it peri periodically because any new products that may have been added since your previous download would be missing. So if I haven't used the product, if I haven't used ClickMate Goldminer for a, a period of time, I will download the, the marketplace fresh but if I'm using it you know, frequently over a period of days, I don't bother downloading it every time. So right now I'm going to click No. All right, here we are at the ClickBank Gold Miner. You, always, you can download the marketplace at any time by clicking this button. You, know, you don't have to wait until you download it. Start by clicking on a category. Any category will do. Uh, then you can search. This should be a universal universal search. Uh, let me put in sniper. Yeah, it'll search the entire database. For some reason, you have to click on one of these categories first. Not a big deal. Once you do that, it does do a uh, universal search. Now, I use Google Sniper as a an example sometimes. You'll see here under the titles um, heading. These are not necessarily the product titles. This is whatever the vendor put in. So in the case of Google Sniper, you know, if you were to search for Google Sniper, it's not going to come up because it's not in the name or the vendor ID. So just a little trick as to the search if you're searching for uh, an actual product name. It may be better to do a part of the name to pull it up like this. Uh, I think under Google Sniper, for example, it's pulling up the sniper in the vendor ID. All right, once you find, oh, you can also browse by categories. In the internet marketing area would be e-business and e-marketing. Um, you can click the arrow and it'll drop down into subcategories. And here you can select any of these products. Let me go back to Google Sniper, which is under affiliate marketing, just because I've looked at that one a number of times. Click on it, it'll pull up you know, some basic data. Oh, down here it displays numerous items. Uh, gravity, initial dollar for sale, and so forth. All of these are sortable columns. You can sort by gravity. It resorts all the products, likewise with any of these fields. Here's popularity and, and so on. So we're still on Google Sniper up here because that's the first one I clicked on. There's some more data here. Under historical gravity, for some reason, most products now are not reporting historical gravity, so most of these are going to be blank. But every now and again, you'll have one. Extra de details, click on that page, click on this button, and it'll pull down uh, some, you know, just some other you know, meta descriptions and sometimes some other interesting information. 
You can click on the vendor website to go to be taken to the website. If it's programmed into the database, you can click here to go to the vendor's uh, affiliate page. In this case, it's, it's grayed out, which means it is not available. Uh, you can favorite it, and that will take you down to your favorites. Now, this top vendor button, button if you click on that, it will pull up a variety of, of rankings, such as the top vendors. However, just a uh, word of warning, this is constantly being changed, so this is not downloaded, downloaded with the marketplace. The way it's set up, it has to be accessed on the website, and it does take a while to download. So only click on this button if you really want to see the information. Now, the, oh, let me show you one other thing before I get to the key feature of the order pages. Here you can filter products. Uh, click on what you want to filter by, and you could say popularity is greater than whatever. You know, type in a number and submit, and it will search these results in the window. It will filter these resorts, results for whatever category. All right, order pages. So you click on order pages. This is the main thing you're going to use the software for. Click this button, and it will uh, go out and find the order pages, actually finding them from the, the database. I've pulled up a browser window behind just to make it easy to show you these uh, affiliate pages. Let me click on this first one listed, the complete Google Sniper system. If you click here, it will pull up that order page, not the affiliate page. Let me go back to the software. Let me show you the difference. Click on the vendor website. It's going to play a video. Let me get ready to pause it here. Maybe it doesn't have a pause. Let me turn my volume. Well, in fact, let's just over six million. Yeah. All right. Just to show you, show you, if you click over here, it takes you. It says vendors, web, vendors website, vendor website. That's the sales page. If you click here, if you click here, like I showed you, it takes you to the order page. The difference, and obviously, here you have a set of video looks like you can just click download it'll take you to an order page the difference alright if you're using this for yourself obviously you just want to find you know the cheapest price for the product product you're looking for some of these will have for example um, uh, one-time offers upsells downsells regardless let's say you want to do a one dollar trial of your product you can just click that you can buy it and and there you have it. But if you're using it as an affiliate, what you're going to have to want, well, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. You can create your own sales page. For example, maybe you could uh, duplicate their sales page or iframe their sales page. But perhaps a better way to do it is to do your own pre-sale you know, on your website or via email and tell them how great the Google Sniper is and whatnot and tell them you have arranged for or have found a special deal that they can't get anywhere else and you send them directly to the order page bypass the website altogether now the number of strategy I, I'm not teaching strategies and how to do it there are a number of ways to do it but the key is if you want to allow your customers to benefit benefit from this is to teach them about the product you could also send them to the website but tell them don't buy at the website I have a better deal for you read about it, watch the video, then go to this place to buy it because I have a better deal for you. Now, if you're using it for affiliates or yourself, if you want to use your affiliate link, you use this. And by the way, if you, um, if you just click here, this is pre-programmed with my affiliate link. Just by, you know, for the sake of full disclosure, if you're just buying for something for yourself, um, you can do that. I will earn a commission. Uh, however, if you want to use your affiliate link for, you know, if you feel okay about doing that for purchases or if you are selling as an affiliate, you use this link right here. Click that, put your affiliate ID, whatever it is, click submit, and then you have your own affiliate ID to give to your clients. You would then give them that affiliate ID. They would go to this 
not you you wouldn't give them the affiliate ID you would give them that link with your affiliate ID built in it would take you take them to the order page and you would get the commission so that is how you use it as an affiliate um, that's basically it um, I think I've about covered it so uh, support is available at support.wpseolabs.com we will be keeping this updated uh, just recently just about a week before launch for the first time in literally years Clickbank changed the URL to the database and this is one example we had to go in update the software uh, so it would continue to get uh, the marketplace database it was broken so uh, again we will be keeping it updated enter your name and email and have fun with it. Thank you.